Hello to all my legendary subscribers and everybody watching this video. Happy Friday. I hope you're ready for an exciting weekend. Welcome to the newest episode of Keeping It Real with me, Alex Cardinelli. Today's topic is going to be a bit of a head scratcher but it's going to be a topic that really gets you thinking long and hard about your current position at the place that you work. If you've experienced what I've experienced, and I'm going to talk about that in just a minute here. Um, I know it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded a episode of Keeping It Real with Alex Cardinelli. I apologize about that. I'm going to try to do my best to make sure that every Friday an episode of Keeping It Real with Alex Cardinelli gets released. So before we get to this week's time, I would like to wish a congratulations to Los Angeles Rams for winning Super Bowl 56. Now, I personally was pulling for the Cincinnati Bengals to win Super Bowl 56. But at the end of the game, the Rams were the ones to hold down Super Bowl 56 and get the victory. So for the first time in NFL history, back-to-back -back home teams playing in their home stadium in the Super Bowl were victorious. But... I am proud to say that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will go down as the first home team to win at their home stadium in the Super Bowl. Having said that, let's get right to our topic. Now, as you guys know, I was employed at Texas Roadhouse in West Palm Beach from December of 2020 to currently, although I am no longer working at Texas Roadhouse, and I'm going to explain all the juicy details of why I am no longer working at Texas Roadhouse this coming Tuesday on a very special episode of Storytime with Alex Cardinelli. Now, today's topic is going to be about whether or not there really is such a thing as a bad employee or if it really is bad management. From a personal note, there is one thing that I cannot stand in the workplace and that is nepotism and favoritism. Those are two signs that you're working for bad management and I am going to explain exactly what I am talking about right now. So I started working for Texas Roadhouse in December of 2020, all the way until currently. Now, I was a very hard worker. I busted my ass each and every shift and every day that I worked. I gave it my all. I never half-assed it or did anything that would make me look like an imbecile or a bad employee. Now, I am going to admit last Friday I made a terrible mistake. It was immature. It was silly. And I should have never done it. And certainly I regret it each and every day moving forward. I'm probably going to continue to regret it but um our microphone for the waiting area where all our guests wait for their table wasn't working for the last couple of weeks so i thought it would not work but i ended up getting on the microphone and i said texas roadhouse is now closed which looking back now was a very very bad mistake because a lot of guests ended up leaving i, I guess and it made Texas Roadhouse look bad. So for that, I accept my responsibility in that. 
Now, having said that, that was the only issue that I had with my over a year working at Texas Roadhouse. And again, I'm going to explain all the juicy details about the mistake and why I left Texas Roadhouse this coming Tuesday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Pacific, right here on my YouTube channel. So from December 2020 to about June of 2021, we would not be having this conversation because for those six months, I loved my job. I loved serving the guests. I loved working with my coworkers and a lot of the coworkers I am personal friends with. I hang out with them um, outside of work. I have dinner parties. We go out to eat and we have a lot of fun with multiple coworkers. And just because I'm no longer working at Texas Roadhouse doesn't mean that I'm not going to hang out with them anymore because I'm certainly still going to hang out with them. I even hang out with somebody that was a former manager at Texas Roadhouse, and he also got let go. Anyway, from December of 2020 to June of 2021, I was seeding for Texas Roadhouse as a host. I also took names uh, to get people on the wait list, and I think it was around then that I started doing call-aheads. And call aheads is kind of fun. You sit in the back office and you answer phones and you put people on the wait list or you direct them to to go to order to go food. Anyway, uh, fast forward a month, I kind of took an interest in being the board coordinator for Texas Roadhouse in West Palm Beach. And what a board coordinator is is basically they assign tables and rotations for where each server is going to work. The manager will hand you a piece of paper. That's the rotation. And you put the servers, uh, you assign the servers to the tables. And that's where you're going to assign each guest to sit. So that's basically your job. And of course, you say, hi, welcome to Texas Broadhouse. How are you? You give legendary goodbyes, etc. So in July of 2021, I asked one of my uh, managers if it was possible for me to get a promotion to board. And he said, well, he'll work on it. Eventually, um, when one of the other managers left, I did get promoted to board. And that manager actually turned out to be a mentor of mine and a really good friend and his name is andrew and andrew was so awesome he took the time to train me on board which is why i am so confident in the fact that i know i could handle working board on nights night shifts but i was never given the opportunity when andrew left unfortunately but andrew showed me how to do board and i was scheduled to work as a board coordinator on friday mornings and i started off on uh, sunday mornings as well but eventually um, i noticed that my sunday mornings were being taken away but i really didn't say anything because i really didn't care at the time but looking back those should have been signs that they didn't want me on board for whatever reason Anyway, I loved working Fridays. On Fridays, I worked doubles, which means that I worked um, lunch and dinner. So I would go in for 1045 in the morning, and usually I would leave around 9, 930. Uh, I would do board in the morning and then call aheads at night. Anyway, uh, I was very successful Friday morning on boards. There was no issues, so I don't understand why... Uh, I was never given more board shifts, but um, I believe it was August of 2021. 
um, I began pushing for more board shifts, especially nighttime. And then I did it again in October of 2021. So I let it slide for two months and I never got uh, promoted to more board shifts. And it was kind of upsetting. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And then again, I asked for more board shifts in December. And again, it was never granted. I was never given um, more board shifts. I had a couple of brief explanations, like I was told to let the managers make the decision. Uh, apparently, they thought I was making managerial decisions, which really I was not. Because every decision that I made, I asked for manager approval on the walkie-talkie. And when they said yes, I did it. If they said no, I didn't do it. I don't know. I think there was a manager that had something against me at Texas Roadhouse, which is totally fine. I've got plenty of people that don't like me, so I'm used to it, believe it or not. But anyway, um, in December, I spoke to the head person. The person that was actually the the location manager, so technically she's like considered the owner of Texas Roadhouse in West Palm Beach, and she assured me that I would be getting at least one or two uh, board shifts at night. So I was happy then, only to be let down again because that never did come to fruition. So that leads to where um, I start to think that there's bad management at the job that I was working. Now, I've been working at Texas Roadhouse for over a year. And in that time, I have seen a lot of employees come and go. But one thing that I have seen is employees that were hired after me getting promotions. And that is really irritating, simply because it should be fair. Now, I have nothing against teenagers or younger people getting promotions. I think they deserve to be treated equally. What I'm trying to say is everybody should be getting equal opportunities. It doesn't matter if they're your personal friends or if you love them just because they are female, um, everybody should get a equal opportunity. So there were people that were hired several months after me that were getting promoted. And it is no secret that the person that was responsible for pro promoting those teenagers was very fascinated with teenage girls and he loved teenage girls there's no saying there's no there's no need for me to tell you that because it shows you know i know more than i speak i can observe things and recognize what's going on and what i recognized when i saw that my hours were being cut and that when i was asking for more board shifts and i kept getting denied was that Texas Roadhouse did not value me as an employee as much as I thought they did. They looked at me as a backup. If one of these teenagers calls out, Alex will pick up the shift and take it for, me, for us. Um, and again, that was only for a seating shift, call ahead, update, or uh, names. Anytime someone for board called out, I would pick it up and it was instantly either ignored or denied, unfortunately. So I don't know the reason behind that, but it was very, very frustrating. And I'm, I'm one that is going to express my concerns and my opinions vocally. I used to be very quiet, but now if I, if I see something and it's against me and I don't believe in it, I'm going to let you know which is the purpose of today's video. So it goes without saying that nepotism and favoritism is terrible in the restaurant industry. This is not my first rodeo 
working in the restaurant industry, and it certainly will not be my last. Now, granted, Texas Road House was my first front of the house position and my first time working as a host. And I know certain restaurants have their own way in limbo of doing stuff, but all the other restaurants that I worked at, everybody was treated fairly. Nobody was above anybody. They were all treated with respect. And promotions were actually based on experience and how long the person has been at that restaurant. It certainly was not because of friendship or the employees threatening to quit or any of that stuff. It was based on work experience and how long the employee has been at the restaurant and what they bring to the restaurant. So what I'm saying is if you're in a restaurant or any job like mine and you've asked for promotions for several months and you're feeling ignored, then I think you need to do what I did and you need to evaluate what you bring to the company and how the company sees you. I think Texas Roadhouse in West Palm Beach saw me as like the backup guy. Anytime a teenager calls out, they can rely on me. And not that that's a bad thing. Um, if I had like another job, that would have been great. But this was mainly my only source of income. And it was kind of like a slap in the face to me, if you ask my personal opinion. I, I could have used at least three or four days a week. Instead, I just got Fridays and Saturdays and sometimes Sundays. I could have easily worked Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, but that's the past. I cannot change that. So if you're ever questioning yourself, saying, am I a bad employee? You need to look at some of the situations involved in your job. How many days are they scheduling you? Are they ignoring your request for promotions? Are they ignoring your request for more hours? Are you noticing newer employees being promoted? Are you noticing favoritism? If you are, then the best thing to do is to start looking for a new job and quit. Now, if you continue to see favoritism and people getting promoted that are hired after you and perhaps that are not qualified for their job, one of the best things you could do is contact human resources for your company because I guarantee you they will look into it. So, is there such thing as a bad employee? No, unless you are doing drugs or showing up to work drunk or you're physically abusive or you're not doing your job and you're being lazy and you're walking off, then there is no such thing as a bad employee. There is only bad management. Some examples of bad management that I've experienced include nepotism and favoritism, pushing you aside, telling you things that you want to hear so that you continue to work and show up and be happy. And when you finally um, get a little bit of what you want, like a board shift, they take some of your power away from you. Those are some of the things that I see as bad management. One thing that the head manager said to me was, Alex, we want you to work with us, not against us. You know, I kind of think that that comment is the other way around. I kind of think the management was working against me and not with me. Because if they were working with me and they wanted to keep me happy, guess what? I would have had more board shifts and I would have got promoted to to go. I certainly would have been a valuable asset for to go in Texas Roadhouse, West Palm Beach. But you know what? Um, maybe it's for the best that I'm no longer working there because I think if I stayed, I would have lost my shit 
and um, something would have happened. Maybe I would have snapped on a manager or something. So who knows? But like I said, I know more than I speak. You've got to be careful for the people that stay silent. I saw what was going on. I saw the favoritism. I saw the promotions. I saw all that stuff. And each and every day I showed up there, it was in the back of my mind. I was like, who do I got to sleep with to get a promotion? Who do I got to have sex with to get a promotion? Or any of that stuff. As corny and, and disrespectful as it sounds, it really does creep in your mind. Is that really what it takes to get ahead? All right. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, Tuesday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 p.m. Pacific. I am going to explain in detail why I left Texas Roadhouse. I'll talk about if I recommend working at Texas Roadhouse and all of that fun stuff. I really didn't intend for this video to be 22 minutes long, but hey, maybe you enjoyed it. So hit that like button, smash that like button, punch that like button for me, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Have a great Friday and have a great weekend, everybody.